Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Coming in, Sandrino. Hello. Uh, nice to meet you. Yes, and this is uh, Tommy Kuiper. Uh, you all know Tommy Kuiper, beer guy PL, um, famous Polish beer blogger. Um, Sandrino, can you show the beer off to the camera and explain sure. what we have here? Here we got 2014 Hummel beer fresh harvest, made with fresh hops, picked end of August 2014. Okay. It was bottled end of uh, October. We fermented in the bottle for three weeks, and now we're gonna taste it. Excellent, excellent. Tomek, are you a big fan of uh, Belgian beer? I'm a big fan of hoppy beers. So. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, look at this. Okay, so beer in the glass. We've got a lovely, slightly hazy colored beer. It's a three finger white head. Um, a lovely colored beer. Nice levels of carbonation. Um, very impressive look to the yeah. beer. Very impressive look. Should we dive in, get, get the aroma? Good nose. Mm. Yeah. Of course, it's not as hoppy as it was at the, at the beginning. previous yeah. Uh, autumn. Yeah. We are looking for a 2015 edition, which will be brewed in a few days, weeks. And let's say in 10 days. We'll yeah, be ten days it. Yeah. In 10 days we'll be going to brew it. Which, which uh, hop varieties you use in this beer? Four hop varieties. We got the mentioned Sapphire, Magnum, Brewers Gold and Challenger. Ah, Magnum. All these uh, varieties are grown in Belgium? In Popperang, yeah. In the Sapphire also? Sapphire also, especially for us. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah, we, we ask for it because it has a good bitterness, but also a aroma hop. Yeah, it it's a very interesting it. uh, hop variety, yeah. So, Let's dive in. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Good mouth feeling. Good very aftertaste. Refreshing. Uh, very refreshing. Mm. Spicy. But, but not too too much mm. it's well well balanced yeah but the bitterness is uh, it stays a long time in the mouth yeah, yeah. It, it's good it, it's uh, no no uh, um, question about is it uh, too weak no it's it's really good it's mm. balanced beer uh, the ABV I forgot to ask you the ABV the alcohol. seven and a half percent seven and a half percent wow that is, and this is the thing with Belgian beers and it must be a Belgian secret. They brew beers at seven and a half percent, eight percent ABV, but yet they taste and, and they, they carry the alcohol so well. No. They really do. It's, you wouldn't say it. It's seven and a half percent, so it goes goes in very smoothly, Ooh. very easy. Lemony, spicy, crisp, refreshing, lovely. Typical Belgian beer with a nice bitterness. Maybe not typical, end. but <laughs> <laughs> but it's, they're it's, ev evident uh, uh, Belgian notes, yeah. Uh, yeah. Spice in well, it, Hummel was one of the first Belgian beers in which such an amount of hops were used. As a first brew was 81. Yeah. And for that moment, for that period, it was very, very bitter. It has a bitterness of a, a 32 EBU. For now, it's it, that's a sweet beer. <laughs> Let, let's say now people are used to drink beers 40, 50, 60, 60 EBU, wow. even above 100. But at that period, when we entered a, a pub, when we got a new beer, tasted it, and people say, oh, that's, that's bitter. But now it's very, yeah. it's very vivid, very common. Yeah. Sorry, we got a wasp attacking us, uh, <laughs> trying to attack our beers on Thomas's shoulder. Yeah. Like no. be careful there. Leave, leave it over there. It's going it's to be a... Okay, uh, thanks for watching us. Um, thank you for joining us. And cheers. I'm Charles from cheers. the Anchor Brewery.